Hey guys, welcome back. I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Sasha Daygame. Uh, I've met Sasha once briefly, but I'm really looking forward to hearing him speak. I haven't heard him speak yet. Um, he's a former professional comedian, so he should be in for a treat of some sort. Um, he's also the founder of the Direct Dating Summit, uh, a returning speaker to the 21 convention, and he's infamous for many of his YouTube videos. Uh, and he has an amazing reputation for really being able to help guys transform their fears, break through, and uh, just start rocking it with their dating lives. So let's welcome Sasha. Thanks, man. Awesome. <laughs> That was funny because for a second you're like, I'm gonna bring up Sasha Day game, and then you got real serious and you're like, is there a problem? I'm like, who's got a beep with me? So I was I thought we didn't have to fight. Cool, how are you guys doing? Yeah. That was shit. Woo! <laughs> how are you guys doing? Woo! Yeah! Who's ready for vagina? Woo! Let me hear you say vagina! vagina. <laughs> Let me hear you say, we're worthy of vagina! Yeah, see, I'm worried because some of you might be bisexual because that was a bit, that was a bit, weak. that's all right. Cool. All right. So let's get right into it. I, I talk a lot, so I'm probably going to go fast, cover a lot of stuff and, and try and have some time for questions at the end. So let's get cracking. First of all, Sasha Daygame is a boss. Just thought I'd point that out in case anybody didn't know. Welcome to London. It's my home turf. Glad you're here. All right. So first of all, I want to go through some core mindsets. Uh, I'm presuming you all know basically what I do. I don't like clubs, they're all gay, and uh, I just do day game, and I do direct, and anyone who doesn't do direct is a pussy. That's pretty much just to catch you up real quick. All right, so core mindsets for moi, okay? Not giving genuine compliments to women is rude, okay? Inappropriate behavior. There's a beautiful girl walking down the street, Okay? She's taken all this time to make herself look amazing, right? She's done the, she, maybe she goes to the gym and works out, maybe she's just a skinny bitch, nobody knows, but she goes through all this effort, she's eating good, she does her hair, and all this kind of shit, probably spent an hour and a half doing her makeup. She looks amazing, okay? And all you have to do to make her feel great is say, hey, you know what? You're beautiful, you look sexy, whatever. That's all you gotta do, it takes three seconds, but you, you're just gonna walk by and do nothing, aren't you, huh? You lazy, selfish bastard, okay? Not cool. Right? It's really fucking easy. So being lazy, I don't care what the excuse is. Well, maybe she won't like it. Shut the fuck up, all right? She's a woman. She looks good. Tell her she looks good, okay? It's rude. It's, it's insulting to women. It's insulting to women not to tell them how good they look. If you don't tell them how good they look, either you're gay or you're just an asshole, okay? Pick one, okay? Does that make sense? This should be your mindset, okay? Stop being an asshole. Start telling girls they're fucking sexy. Is that making sense? Good but what if she doesn't like it? Shut the fuck up. All right. Number two, start living life authentically and learn to love making women's day, okay? So, you're a man. Presuming you're heterosexual, you see a beautiful girl, most natural thing in the world to tell her she looks good. It's actually inauthentic and weird to not tell her she looks good. It's, it's not authentic. You're not being a normal man, okay? If you like women, and you want to have sex with women and date them. Who likes girls? Put your hands up real quick. All the people like women. All right, so everyone has got your hand up. You are not being authentic if you are not approaching girls, okay? It's not natural. It's weird. Stop being a weirdo, okay? Now, again, this one, I used to talk about this for ages. I love, who, I mean, who does not love making women feel good? Anybody? Quick, let's, like, make some noise if you just hate making women feel good. Come on, all the... Nobody? There you go, okay? It's fucking, everybody does, okay? It takes one second. I got addicted to this. I love making women feel good. Not just in the bedroom, also in the bedroom, okay? But in all aspects. So by coming up to them, telling them they look fantastic, you're making them feel good. Nothing bad ever happens. I've, I've talked about that in other speeches before, so I'm not gonna go into it. Get addicted to this. Start being authentic. Love making women's day. They'll love you for it. Okay, now, this one can be funny. Beautiful women are easier. I'm not saying necessarily if she's hot, she's just gonna lay down and yeah, take my vagina now. That's not necessarily what I'm saying. However, a lot of guys have this fucked up mindset where they think, oh, well, I'll just go for girls that aren't that hot. I, I know lots of guys who just will not approach the really hot girls. They'll go for girls who are like, kind of like okay or, or semi-cute or whatever. And I'm like, no, no, okay? 
Beautiful girls are way friendlier. They're way friendlier. They're way more upward. They want to talk to you. They know they're beautiful. They're okay with it. As long as you know how to approach them and you're okay with yourself, you've got a chance, okay? It's the ugly girls that are going to give you the most hard time because they're fucking ugly. No one's talking to them. <laughs> they're fat. Nobody wants to be, hey, sorry, that's just how it is. So, like, if you approach a girl who's like a little chubby and not really that hot, and you're like, hey, you know, what's going on? I want to meet She's going to be like, get the fuck away from me. What do you want from me? Because they're not used to, they're, they're going to think you're, you're trying to rob them or it's some kind of trick or some shit. They're, they're, they're not in a good place, okay? They're not, okay? I, I wish them all the best. However, it's easier to hook up with gorgeous girls because, hey, they know they're gorgeous. They're okay with it. They've had easy lives. People treat them nice. There's no reason, if you're a hot 24 year old girl and you look good and whatever, there's no reason for you to be angry at the world. Why would you be angry? Why? Everybody's always giving you whatever you want, hand and foot, okay? So for all you guys out there who are like, well, yeah, yeah, should be, I just get nervous with hotter girls and I don't know, I just maybe one day I'll work your way. No, shut the fuck up. Start approaching girls. I'm gonna talk about this more later, but beautiful women are easier to deal with, easier to get on dates, easier to hook up with than girls that are not beautiful, okay? So stop wasting your time with non-beautiful girls. Go for the girls that you actually like.